This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. We will each be challenged. Our trust. Our faith. Our friendships. But we must persevere. And in time, a new hope will emerge. May the force be with you, always. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Feel, don't think. Fear is my ally. The force will be with you. We are encouraged to love. Be mindful of your thoughts. I will not betray the Republic. Hey, your worship, I'm only trying to help. Scruffy looking nerf herder! I'm not afraid. You must unlearn what you have learned. In keeping with the trusty adage, starve a cold, disgust a fever. So, you remember the, uh, basically the advice, you don't shit where you eat? That advice normally goes to in uh, house uh, love affairs between an employer and an employee or an actor and a fan or whatever. This also can be extended to a movie studio and a YouTube slash fan site. Okay, this is a case, this is a, this is a case study and a lesson. So you all know how I feel. Star Wars magazine may be an, an, a Lucasfilm in-house thing going on. And, uh, and it's uh, an interesting thing going on here because the stuff kind of reads like a, a chat, a GPT, AI-driven. But here's a story. Civil War and the fandom. And at first I was pissed off. Uh, but I re read the article and discovered that they were critical of Lucasfilm for, for playing favorites. And somebody had to say it. And if it is somebody at Lucasfilm, they're trying to extend the olive branch and uh, meet to some, have to some uh, uh, middle ground meeting between factions of the fandom. The problem is, is that uh, there are, are parts of the fandom that have been kicked to the curb by Molly Damon because she felt empowered by Lucasfilm's uh, favoritism and they're not being reached out to. 
I'm talking the Geeks and Gamers. I'm talking Ryan Cannell. I'm talking even Gary Nerdrotic. Okay, I'm talking Midnight's Edge. Um, I'm talking me. Okay, and that's the problem here. Star Wars theory got picked on by the Damons and uh, the uh, Mary Sue and rewriting, rewriting Ripley because of his dislike of the Acolyte. We all know John Favreau uh, called the Acolyte the worst fan film he's ever seen. Okay, Headland turned in, barely turned in enough for four episodes and they had to stretch it out to eight. Okay. Um, it was shitty to look at. The acting was terrible. The writing was awful. And it was full of uh, this misandrist message and anti-George anti, uh, Lucas message about the force, about how people relate to it. Okay. Um, and, you know, Star Wars theory, I don't think anybody in the fandom knows more about Star Wars than theory does on, on the Jedi kind of Sith, the, the, the level of storytelling, which is where Hedlund tried to get to. And uh, because he criticized the Acolyte and called Leslie Hedlund out for her sh shitty remarks about George Lucas, um, you know, Molly Damon decided, along with her little friends on the Mary Sue, and rewriting Ripley and other places, decided to try to deplatform him, Geeks and Gamers, Nerd Roddick, Ryan Cannell, and a bunch of other people. All right. Look, I lost Twitter accounts because I went after them over their bizarre, fanatical support of Raylo. I want to ask the person who wrote Star Wars Magazine, do you know what Raylo is? I can... Uh, send you messages and pictures of stuff they did. All right. We criticized them because it wasn't part of... We criticized them because Raylo isn't Star Wars. And it really is obscene when you think about it. And I'm... I, I would like to know who's behind Star Wars magazine. Because it reads uh, like it's in-house at Lucasfilm. They're criticizing favoritism. Why would you give these guys tickets to the Acolyte premiere? Because Alex is too chicken shit to call you out and you're giving him money and you're giving his wife kudos. Are you shitting me? Don't shit where you eat. That's a rule. You don't, you don't favorite one fan uh, YouTube channel over something like Star Wars Theory who should have had people uh, going after um, uh, him and having you know interviews on his channel, being able to go on the set of The Mandalorian. He should have been allowed to do that. Okay, but because he's objective, he gets shit on by Molly Damon, who's pissed off that he makes more money than they do. All right, don't tell me it's about her woke shit, even though she runs around with rainbow flags and pronouns in her fucking ex-bio. All right, no, it's about money and power. Okay, who has it and who, you know, it's, it's, it's I mean, if she was somebody that Vito Corleone had to go up against, she'd have been long gone. That's how stupid she is. Okay, uh, the whole thing between Star Wars Explained and Star Wars Theory is a case study of envy, pride, greed. Okay, it really, really is. And Lucasfilm, as the article rightly says, played favorites. Okay, and they never should have played favorites. All right, they never... They never should have, uh, they should have just said whatever. You know, um, we're not, we're not giving people free stuff. If you, we're not going to force you to like everything we do to get free stuff. I mean, that's all they had to do. I'll chat more in a minute. 
Excuse me, Niles, but I've got news for you. Copernicus called, and you are not the center of the universe. Right. Master, <laughs> I assure you. Your floppy lightsaber. <sighs> Keep that, you may. If you just give me another chance in $180 million, I can make this. <laughs> I know, back when the internet uh, really started coalescing into something that could be used for businesses, um, that uh, a lot of actors would reach out to their fan fan clubs and include them in things, premieres, uh, they'd send out freebie posters to auction off for charity and stuff like that. Um, I was part of a fan site that supported this actor from Scotland. And the problem was, is he had favorited the biggest, the biggest fan site. And the woman that ran the biggest fan site started getting really jealous of the fact that our little fan site started to get uh, interest. And what she wanted to do was get enough control over us that we would end up being you know, basically bought into the board, okay? And that's where the trouble started, and she lost her connection to that actor. But here's the problem. Star Wars Explained ends up getting uh, involved in a letter that I think Molly herself, I, I totally agree with theory, that Molly herself wrote. Uh, and they got involved with this with their little buddies at Rewriting Ripley. And... Uh, uh, the Mary Sue, and this is basically demanding uh, YouTube deplatform and demonetize Geeks and Gamers and uh, Nerdrotic and Theory because they had dared to criticize the Acolyte. This is how these people think. Okay, they were trying to take away people's life livelihoods. And what's and something more important, their right of free speech, the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. Okay, now you've got Tim Walz saying there isn't a guarantee of free speech. What the fuck have you ever read the Constitution and the First Ten, Amend Ten Amendments and the Bill of Rights? All right, you cheap discount Donna Rickles. Okay, sorry, Donna. No, I didn't mean to insult you. All right, that's the problem. The show failed because it was bad. And because, quite frankly, people are sick of their politics. And these people can't deal with criticism. They can't deal with uh, saying something that they are, are, are fanatical about, which is woke, the woke agenda, get destroyed by normal people who don't want to see it. Okay. You've got Wiccans, I know, they're friends of mine, uh, outraged by the way witches are portrayed. I wouldn't know anything about that. Um, but I'm like, every, if, if Leslie Hedlin could do everything wrong, she did. Okay, they didn't get a second season, and it's everybody else's fault but Leslie Hedlin's, but the other writers, but Lucasfilms, because they allowed it to, to be put out there for some reason. Whoever were the backers were for this atrocity. Okay. And now Lucasfilm is paying for it like they have since The Force Awakens came out because they favored, they had favorites. They gave these two access when they should have been the last people to have access. And it's always uh, greedy, uh, power-hungry, agenda-driven, uh, ego-driven uh, power mongers like this that get access and then when they start not doing as well as objective viewers who just love the franchise like Star Wars Theory, they start attacking and assaulting through other means Star Wars Theory. And I'm going to be brutally honest, that's not right. Okay. And uh, the Lucasfilm created this monster because they shit where they eat. They, 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 they took a great big dump. They chose 
Molly Damon and her cut husband over someone who's so knowledgeable about Star Wars he could carry a conversation on about it with George Lucas and it would be like two peers talking. Okay, they made a mistake. To me, i go King Solomon and say, uh, I'm going to chop the baby in half. Okay, and see who screams. All right? I mean, you don't have relationships with fan sites if you're an actor or a studio. And again, this is another failure of Kathleen Kennedy's Lucasfilm. Okay, you don't shit where you eat. Ever. And I'm sorry to sound callous and vulgar, but that's the truth. I mean, why were we, you could tell these people have been given access because Alex never changed his tune. He liked everything, which is absolutely mind-blowingly insane. Okay, that's enough for, to me to say, wait a minute. What's he getting out of this? And of course, them not criticizing Leslie Hedlund for her relationship with Harvey Weinstein. I want you all to think about this. All right, this is an interesting article, though I don't believe that Star Wars theory needs to uh, shake hands with Molly Damon anytime soon. I think Star Wars Explained needs to back off and think about their life's choices. To quote Obi-Wan. They're, they caused it. Lucasfilm caused this. Not Star Wars Theory. This is Steph signing out. I'll see you around the galaxy.